All right, we're going to welcome you back to the Principles Podcast. Today is August 1st. 2021. This is episode, no, this is season four, episode one. Crazy. 2022. Did I say 21? <laughs> All right. That goes to show that it is not school mode yet. Um, I've been here all year long, um, but we have some new guests uh, that are our permanent fixtures to the podcast. Mr. Hyam has always been on. So Mr. Hyam, how are you doing today? Doing well. Yo, 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 everyone. He gets the yo's out there. And Mary Pat Pavisek, you've been board approved for several months and you've talked to a few teachers and you have not met a single soul besides the kids that walked around. Uh, today is your first official day. How are you doing? I am great. Super excited to be here. All right. So Mr. Haim and I, we got to know you uh, through the application process. You came in to the, to the building, uh, went through multiple rounds with both awesome staff members and really cool st students. Um, tell us a little bit about your educational experiences. Sure. So going way back. So I graduated from high school in 2001, Euclid High School. Uh, went to John Carroll University and earned my degree in biology. Then I went to Ursuline College and got my master's in life science education. And then I started teaching. And I've been, I was teaching in Aurora for 15 years. And during that time, got another master's in educational leadership. And that's what enabled me to be here. 2001. Holy <laughs> crap. I, yeah. I'm and, and, and did you hear her just read off all these degrees? I, I think she has twice as many as you and I combined. I'm a little a concerned lot, here, yeah. Murray. Is that why we brought her in to, to make up for what we don't have? Well, knowing that she's a 2001 graduate, we both could have taught her <laughs> true yes that is yes the fact is, is yes. that we found out she can run around all of us because she does enjoy to run right you like that your... too absolutely yes so i'm a marathon runner i've run 18 marathons so it's a big hobby of mine too <laughs> i think we could tag team on bikes and she would still beat us <laughs> yeah i don't like running for fun <laughs> um so she uh mary pat you are super excited to, to join the Hilltopper Nation. Uh, you, I know that you are just going to naturally love our kids and love our staff, and it's going to be really fun as we get to to know all of our kids this year through this this podcast. It's just one way that we reach out to our families. Um, so let's get into a little bit about uh, where we are um, on this day, August first, two thousand twenty-two. Um, with our summer. So Mr. Heim, what'd you do this summer? We did quite a bit, but actually I got to start today is my wife's birthday. Oh. So her birthday is August 1st. So she enjoys when August 1st comes around because she knows I'm out of the house. She can enjoy <laughs> her birthday. Uh, I, I, It's been a whirlwind. I think everyone will say it, but it seemed like I got home. We, we worked. I had a few days to kind of get ready. We, uh, Took a trip with the boys for a few days, did uh, some Disney action down there, and then came home for to go to what we call, you know, baseball Disney or Disney for baseball, that should say, in Cooperstown uh, with uh, my 12 year old son Jordan. And we had a great run there. Um, we played phenomenal and um, came back last Thursday, was able to catch my breath, catch up on some sleep. And we're here off and running. I, I'm not sure we've even taken a break yet. And it's uh, what, 12, 15? Yeah, we've been yeah. moving all day long, either in this building or outside of this building. But a lot of information has been going on. And Mary Pat, this is brand new to you. So you're learning a whole new system. Yes. Um, so how was your summer? It was awesome. Super fast. Um, so in June, I was really busy. So um, I taught AP when I was a teacher at Aurora High School. So I signed up to do the AP reading and I continued to participate in that. So I graded lots of AP tests in the beginning of June and then came in here and got oriented uh, with, with the Chardon High School in June and did some different things um, in preparation for the school year throughout June into July. 
went to lots of baseball games uh, and dance recitals. So I have nine nieces and nephews, and my nephew's birthday is actually today. Today's his 10th birthday, my nephew nice. Alexander. And then I also went to Greece. So I spent some time abroad. So I love to travel. So that's another big um, hobby passion of mine. And I was in Greece for about 11 days in July. And then he had some time to rest last week. And then now I'm here. That's really exciting. When you came in for just to set up your office, you said you had some jet lag. Um, yes. Oh, my goodness. Are you back? <laughs> You feel like your body's yeah, back? Yeah, I am officially. Like Thursday, I was finally feeling um, back to 110% for those first few days. By 7 o'clock at night, I don't drive because I'm so exhausted. And by 8 o'clock, I'm forcing myself to stay awake. And by 9, lights are out. <laughs> well, in the Murray household this year, we probably participated in about 70-plus softball games uh, for both girls. We went – a couple trips uh, for softball. So we did a little bit of college visits in between there. Uh, we did our typical South Carolina uh, excursion, which is always necessary and important. Uh, we did some senior photos. It's hard to believe that that's, that's happening, uh, but we did that. Um, and we've kind of been trying to do some house housework. Um, here in the building, We're. Um, it feels like it's, if you ask Mrs. Brinzel, it feels like the roof's collapsing in as they're up there taking off layers and, and basically taking everything off and redoing everything. Uh, so the roof has been going on. We have had our windows. Um, if you pull up over by, you know, Chardon Avenue into our building, the difference between last year and this year, it's, it's remarkable. Um, the improvements that simply windows can do to a, an exterior. Um, I feel like a lot of the things that uh, our maintenance and our custodial staff, they're constantly having to kind of touch up areas um, as as things are happening on the roof. We're trying to touch up areas on the inside, uh, but they're doing a, a great job. I have to give a shout out to uh, specifically, um, I've seen him the most, so Spencer, uh, who has been in and out. He has done a great job. I know the entire crew is and uh, that he has with Don. Um, and also I've, our head custodian, Mark Avery, but Spencer has been remarkable trying to get everything just ready for the opening day because he takes pride in all that he does. Uh, and he's a, just an awesome worker. Um, we are going to try Mr. Heim, a little chicken and steak today. Are we? We are, but I, I have to stop for a say your oldest is a senior. Yeah. It's oh, crazy. Senior. You want to hit the pause button or you want to hit the slow mo button? Like, I know that uh, Jen and I would love to hit pause and then push play and then push pause again and push and then watch that progression. Um, you've been there with your first. Yeah. This is going to be our first. Um, I think, I hope, you know, she, from what she says, she wants to be close. So um, when we went out to Pennsylvania, three hours seemed far for her so that, um, she enjoyed it, but she thinks she wants to be close. So that would be it'd be nice mm. because she's so connected with her sister. That'd be nice. My my oldest uh, is a senior at Ohio State, so I don't even know where that went. As we we <laughs> talk, uh, crazy. But we do how, have a little chicken and hair, steak. By the way, before you What's get that? the chicken and steak, how's how's Junior's hair? Um, he got Long. a cut. He, he got, got a, a cut? cut. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll bring a picture on later this year. He got a cut. He does not look like Uncle Jesse anymore. Um, wow. Yeah, it shocked all of us. Uh, but I guess that's what happens when you get a girlfriend. <laughs> things change. Wow. You know, so uh, things are. But he's trying to be more professional, which is, you know, everyone's dream for their children. So. so do we have a theme for today's chicken or steak? Well, I, I think the theme is to try to give our audience which is two your mom and my mom um some you know a little bit a little bit to uh chew on to you know before they miss, meet miss pavisic and you know kind of know a little bit about her maybe say something to her in the halls or kind of joke with her and we'll see where we go i i don't know where she's going to go with these quite honestly <laughs> i think you and i are going to learn some things you know um Hopefully we can stump her, make her laugh a little bit. And um, I know Miss Bruce is out there. 
you know, Miss Bruce is always listening and watching, and she'll she'll send our the regards of what she thinks about all this. So let's see how we go. All right. Okay. All right. We'll start a little bit. We'll start on the easy side. Um, do you do you like ketchup or ranch on your food? Ketchup. Is that ketchup on ketchup or just a little bit of ketchup? You know, there's that saying, I like ketchup on ketchup. Ketchup on ketchup. I really like ketchup. Okay. There, <laughs> there we go. So, you know, when you're when you're at home and you don't think anyone's watching, um, do you have the air guitar going or the air drums? Which one are you doing? Air you guitar air, air drums? Air drums or air guitar. Yeah. Air drums. On the steering wheel? On the steering wheel? When you're driving? It, you know, every once them. in a while it happens there you get go. into the groove <laughs> see I, I murray i could see you as our lead singer um and then i'm doing some guitar band. thing that i have no clue <laughs> with you know you could you know with the head banging you know get the yep i mean um miss pat said like, you'll see that picture sometime you'll see that you know oh. when he had hair <laughs> you know back when we had hair in the 80s you the know. italian flow yeah um uh, so are you um someone who likes to uh attend a, a parties or host parties attending is easier attend you're attending all right so now we're going to find <laughs> out how responsible she is are you a cash person or a credit person I become, I've evolved more and more to be a credit. So I was a cash, but I've become more credits. Okay. It's easier. So are, are you a person that likes to give rides or are you a person that hitch a ride from someone else? You know, so when we, when we go and do stuff, are you going to be driving or are you going to be riding along? Um, it depends. So it depends. So I would say both. If I had to go either which one, I would say give. Okay. So when we, when we go out to Cedar point for our annual trip, um, which we don't do, but if we did, <laughs> would we see you on the roller coasters or over there on the water slides? Roller coasters for sure. Roller coasters. And, um, are you a loud person or a quiet person? You know, that's going to be important here. The students are going to want to know what kind of person you are. I tend to be loud. So I can be pretty be loud. loud. Yeah. Well, that's good because I tend to be on the quiet <laughs> side. Murray, Murray would agree with that, except once or twice a year, he'll hear me. And then he comes, you know, comes out. Um, so are you a person that drives slow or fast? Slow. And my my nieces and nephews will tell me that. So I've learned that from them. So you, yeah, you drive like grandma. You. You, yeah you drive it yeah. so are you so you're not worried about those speeding tickets you're more worried about those parking tickets exactly yes 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 okay we do have parking <laughs> tickets here at Chardon high school oh God. um some of my friends in the student lot aren't fans of, of those tickets <laughs> but we we do have those we have those tickets so are you a person that likes to work in groups or do you like to work on your uh solo i would say both I, there's benefits to working in groups i like group collaboration i like to get different perspectives on things and i also like to get the opportunity to kind of mull things through and think things through independently i would prefer groups because like i said i really like collaborating um but both oh, good and 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 mary pat you always will find this out we always bring this subject and this content into every podcast murray knows where we're going so i'm just going to ask would do you enjoy english or math more which one do you enjoy more english i i love reading i love reading and i love to write so i love reading and writing but here I, here it comes murray here it comes but i am i lean more to being toward more of a math person but yeah. that's more of my natural inclination, but I do read and write a lot. So it's hard to, to be on one end of the spectrum there. <laughs> that was a presidential answer, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going to love that. Everyone's going to love that. So getting more into your world, uh, your wheelhouse, I should say, chemistry or biology? So I've taught biology for 15 years. And again, I might have a presidential response here. 
chemistry is the foundation of biology. So without chemistry, you don't have bio and, and bio enhances your understanding of chemistry too. So bio, because I've taught it for so long, but that doesn't take away the significance of chemistry. Well, and this next one is for Dr. <laughs> Hanlon because Dr. Hanlon listens um, on a regular basis. Do you start work late or do you leave work early? Because, you know, Dr. Hanlon's going to need to know this. <laughs> well, as you saw today, I'm a morning person. So I, I will be here early. That's just my natural way. I like to get things done early uh, in the day. So I definitely will be here early. I'm yeah, I'm usually the one too. here. I'm I'm usually <laughs> the one here early, and you were here before me. It bothered me there for a second. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to change my clock. Um, and teachers, this is really important for our teachers. Um, are you a type of person that likes to send emails or have those one-on-one -on -one conversations with them? Again, it's both. You know, I think there's there's efficiency with email communication, so there's there's benefits to doing that. Um, but I also really believe in the power of of one on one personal interaction communication. I think that was one of the things we learned from the pandemic when we lost that part of our ability to communicate. We saw how significant that is. So I think it's really important for building relationships, for having those connections to have one on one dialogue. But it's also important to have good um, email communication, too. So I'm going to give you a few words and you got to pick one or the other that would describe you best okay. okay words or actions actions passion or stability passion success or happiness happiness no company or bad company no company. Dogs or cats? Dogs. I can see why we hired her. <laughs> I can see why we hired you. And I'll ask, I'll, 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 I'll end on the last one and then I'll turn it over to the man of the hour who runs this show. Um, your toilet paper, over or under? I don't know. I don't pay attention. Well, chicken that? and steak with our newest sets of principal here at Southern High School. <laughs> Chicken. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. We learned a lot here today. This was a very good first round. And, you know, um, we're going to certainly bring in all the different student groups uh, throughout the course of the school year. We'll bring in some coaches, bring in some teachers um, throughout, so our families can get to know. And this is literally just a fun thing that we do um, for our, our, our families out there, for our students and for our staff, just to get to know various people involved. So and we have a lot of, we do have a lot of listeners that are, that are out there that are um, out of Mrs. Bunker's class. These kids are absolutely phenomenally love listening. Um, and we, we are about um, between Spotify anchor that we use and also this recording that goes to YouTube, we're probably getting about 400 people that view it each week. Um, so people are checking in, maybe not for the full time, but they just want to see what's, what's happening at, at the high school. Um, so I want to ask each of you, uh, as we are literally hitting that month that is never ending, um, August is, it comes in quickly. There's so much to do. And before you know it, it's gone. And you only had probably 12 days of actual academics. Uh, so it's a fast month and a lot of things going on. What are you looking forward to? What are some of the things that you are looking forward to this year, or maybe even some specific goals that you have? Does this go to me first? Sure. Okay. I'm really excited to be here. Um, I'm excited to learn about your culture. So I want to know what Sheridan High School is. I want to know what the tempo of Sheridan High School is and how I can serve as an asset, as a leader um, at the high school to students, to staff, to, to the, the community as a whole, and to be a part of that community. So my goal really is to understand what Chardon High School is and how as a leader can help enhance that. That's awesome. Mr. Hyam. Uh, several things. I, I can't wait to hear the band. Um, you know, I know that when the band starts playing and they start marching around, you just get that, that 
sense that fall's coming soon, the uh, school's starting. So I'm just excited to hear the band and what they've been working on this summer. Uh, seeing the teachers, catching up with them. Uh, they had a great long summer, I hope. All of them did uh, a little bit longer than last year. So kind of see how they've uh, recuperated from the long year that we had and kind of the excitement they have coming up. And then just seeing the students back in the building. Uh, they started today with fall sports. So we're going to start seeing them in the building, outside the building, kind of just the place is coming alive again. I mean, the high school never goes to sleep. You know, that we don't we don't put it to bed for a few months. It's always, you know, bustling at the seams, but I'm excited to just get back at it. How about you, Mr. Murray? Lots of things. I absolutely miss uh, the, the connection. So it's so good to see you both. Uh, Ms. Sprinzel, Mrs. Sprinzel and I have been here um, all year, all summer, and it's just been Jen, myself, and the doorbell. Um, and we've been trying to get a lot of stuff done. So I can't wait to see our staff. I know they're going to be so energized to get back. I can't wait to see our kids uh, because they give us so much energy. It just, what's so fun to watch, doesn't matter what year they are, but just watching them grow up over the summer. You know, we talk about haircuts. Some people, you know, grow their hair out. Some people get a haircut. Some people have glasses now. Uh, some kids grew seven inches, you know, um, it just some people had braces now they don't like it's all these little things it's just like the, everyone is so excited and it to continue that energy throughout each year or each each month is really important uh that we'll have to really as the three of us and our staff just harness that and really focus on ways that we can continue to build the climate and culture that we expect here at chardon uh using our core values um i'm really excited that we are also with our eighth grade that are now seniors, they are officially like the 150th commencement class. So it's like a really special year. And, and what has always confused me is that our district is over 200 years old, but officially, apparently, if, like formally, we only have 150 coming up commencement ceremonies. So we probably had 50 some graduations, but not maybe a commencement ceremony. Um, but I'm really excited, not for that. No, I don't want to get fast forward things because there's so many awesome things to look forward to. Uh, I just can't wait each day to see another face and another face and we can really connect with them and make this year great because we are not only going to achieve our highest uh, that we can academically, uh, but we'll connect to each other in our relationships and we'll also connect to all the different activities that we're involved in. So I am looking forward to that. Uh, this is our first podcast, a little bit long, but it was well worth the time. Uh, we're going to share this with our families so they get to know each, each and uh, every single one of us. And we get to see everybody in like two weeks. I'm super excited about that. So from my office to your office, to all, everyone out there, everyone, go toppers. <laughs> go toppers. Woohoo! <laughs>